If you're wanting to grow your YouTube channel, this video is for you. Hi, I'm glad you're here. Welcome. I'm George Pierce, and this video is about creating your own subscribe button and ringing the bell, and that, and also that is going to include sound. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. The first thing I want to share with you is what we're going to end up creating. So let me show you that. Let me share that with you. Now I'm going to show you what, how you can make one or what it could look like if you actually put your own image in there, if you would like to do that. And I, I think that's, uh, uh, in a sense, that makes it very unique. I made an earlier video about creating an animated subscribe button, but I didn't include the sound. And so that's why I'm making this one. It includes the sounds that I want to share with you a few tricks to help make it a lot easier because if you you've never done this before and you do it the first time it's probably going to take quite a quite a long time and it's going to be pretty difficult to kind of get it get it to work the the motion and the sound and whatever uh you want to get them to match up and so on and it's really not that difficult if if you know how to do it so i'm going to share a few little tips and tricks to make that easier for you and make the, the bottom line is you'll be able to make it and make it so it looks professional, and uh, you'll be able to make it quickly, and it'll come out right. So we're going to go step by step. Uh, I'm going to show you where to get the images and how to get the images, uh, how to get the sounds, and how to put it all together. So let's get started. We are at a site called Pixabay, and I'll leave a link below. Pixabay is a, uh, a website where you can get uh, images. You can also get videos as well as photos, uh, vector graphics, illustrations. So if you want to get free images or videos or more, Pixabay is uh, certainly a place to consider because it's got over a million. And the Pixabay license, it's free for commercial use, no attributions required. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and typed in background coffee and click on, I want to show you where where I've got these images. Background coffee. And I'll scroll down. And this is the image that I used for our background. And as far as the bell goes, I used bell icon. And then this is the bell icon that I used. These are all free. Click on that. And free download. Then I, I use subscribe. Subscribe button. This is the subscribe button that I used. And then for the woman, uh, pointing woman, pointing woman, and you could use any one of these, of course. Now, as far as the, um, the sounds, I went to YouTube to get the sounds, and I used free download manager, and I'll leave a link below to that. This will take you, the link that I will leave will take you to this page, and it's a free download. And what it is, it's, it's a tool to help you to download from YouTube. And uh, let's go ahead and go to YouTube. I'm on YouTube, and I want a bell sound, bell sound effect ding. And I want a filter. Click on filter. And I want to click on Creative Commons. And Creative Commons uh, pretty much allows me to use whatever I, I find under Creative Commons with what's called attribution and this is the bell sound that i used there there it goes if you heard it i hope you did and what i did to be sure to be sure that it is creative commons what i did is i went to show more and made sure that it says creative commons here and i'll show you how to do an attribution later for the click uh i typed in mouse mouse click sound and did the same thing again filtered creative commons this is the, the one that i used i opened free download manager you can see i copied the url you can see i've already done it here but i copied the url paste it in here and when i click ok it'll download it because i've already downloaded it so i don't need it again i've got the bell sound and this and then this is going to help me with the attribution later because I've got them right here. And when I go to make the attribution, I've got the name 
and I've got the link and I'll show you how that all comes into play uh, towards later on in the video. We're just about ready to put all this together. So I'm going to put the, um, the bells, the click sound, and the ring sound first. Then I'm going to put our background next. That'll go down there, it will. And the, the bell. The subscribe button. And this is, these are called overlays, and the reason why they're called overlays is that I'm putting them up and over. And let's do it with the, you want to do it with me? I like, we'll do it with myself. I'm going to take me, and I'll put me up on the top here. Stretch it out. All right, now I want to size these images so that they fit. Um, in other words, this... This is the subscribe button, and it takes the whole screen. Well, I don't want that. I want it to be sized down about here. And then I want the bell sized down maybe about over here. Myself, we'll size it down over about here. And I can see the coffee cup needs to be stretched out. That's our background. But by that, in other words, this here, this, this side, this needs to be stretched over here, and it'll be also need to be stretched on that side. Right? That's just comes with a little bit of experience. So I go to the coffee cup, and the reason is anyway. I'm just going to stretch it out. And stretch it out, and it's it doesn't look like it's distorted or anything. So I'm just going to leave that. And at the moment, this is what you're going to see. Subscribe, the bell. Might want to make that bell a little smaller. Maybe move that. Maybe the subscribe a little bigger. Okay, now what we've got is the ding. I'm going to take the ding, excuse me, the click. This is the mouse click. I'm moving the mouse click down here because I want to, I want it to be at about one quarter of this. In other words, what's going to happen? What's going to happen is about a quarter of the way through, I'm going to move myself or whatever image up here. Halfway through this, this I'm going to move it back down here. Three quarters of the way, I'm going to move it up here. And towards the end, I'm going to move it back down here. So I'm going to move it up about a quarter of the way through, maybe a little less. Here about halfway or a little less three quarters of the way a little less near the end okay so so therefore I would like my ding at around 25 percent of where it wants to be so I want the ding this ding this this represents the sound I want that to be about 25 percent of the way through and I think I've got it a little bit close. Okay, now I'm going to go to the top. This is me. This is what I want to move around. I, it so happens that I happen to line up with the edge now because I stretched that out. And my first animation is going to be to move myself up to the subscribe button. So I want to go to animation. I want to add animation. Then this, you see this with this red dot, this is where I'm going to move this guy up to here, that which is, happens to be me. I'm going to move me up to the subscribe button. Okay. 
That's my first animation, but I want my click to be around that same time, and it's not. Okay, so what I'm doing is mentally, anyway, when I click this, I want to move this. You see, you see when I move this over the click, you see how this is right up where I want it to be? So it looks like I'm in the right place. So let's see what happens. We're one quarter of the way through. We got a click. The click's a little bit too late, in my opinion. Let's go back up to the to my image because we want to add another animation. We want to add a keyframe. Bring this back down here. And we want another keyframe. I might stretch that out a little bit, but let me. Uh, I want this. See, this is the ring. And so I want this to be around where that ring is at. When I move myself up, so I want to add a keyframe right there. me up at the bell. Okay, now the distance between here and here, I want to even that out a little bit. So I'll put this and then I want to add one more keyframe towards the end, which is going to be bring me back down. Add a keyframe. Bring me back down to the bottom. See what we got. Click and a ding, and it looks pretty smooth. We can do the same thing with with any with the girl or anybody else. But that is the um, that's the image that I've created. I can do the same thing again with the girl. So. That's, what, that's the end result. And you can put your image in there. Let's say I just wanted a hand. And I want to show you one more thing about getting images because I did not find like a, a pointing a hand up, a, an actual hand. And that's something that you might want to use. So I've gone, I'm using Google Images. And pointing hand up, but I'm going to go to Tools and Usage Rights and Label for Reuse. And this way I've got more options. In other words, if, if you can't find the image that you're looking for, there's a pretty good chance that, you're going to, that Google's going to have it. But make sure that you go to Label for Reuse because you want to make sure that you have permission to use it. The next thing that we uh, we need to cover is attribution because we did use the mouse clicking or the mouse click sound effect and we did use the bell sound effect on YouTube that was Creative Commons so we have permission to use it but we need to give attribution. As far as I know this is okay. I researched attribution uh, and this is what I come up with but it is for informational purposes. I cannot guarantee that this is absolutely perfect and legal. But based on my research, this should should be acceptable. You put attribution, and then you put mouse clicking sound, or the name of the video, and before is licensed under CC Community Creative Commons 4.0. Then the URL and a link back. The bell sound is licensed under 
Creative Commons 4.0 and the URL and a link back. And anything you use that's Creative Commons, you're supposed to give attribution. Um, and you want to give attribution because you want it's the right thing to do, but also it keeps YouTube happy. I'm going to make this video Creative Commons, which simply means that if you want to use this video or part of it, any part of it, you're welcome to do so. I hope that this video has been of help to you. If it is, give us a like, I'd appreciate it, or perhaps even a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell, and that way you won't miss out. I do want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Allow me to wish you much success.